Hi, if you're watching this video, then it's probably because you've been searching for optical illusions or different perspectives or something of that nature and how they might be able to help you. My name is Martin Hamilton and I've been helping people uh, to learn and to develop for uh, over 20 years now and in this short video I'm going to share a couple of insights with you which I hope you'll find both fun, entertaining um, as well as uh, practical and helpful. <clears throat> for a number of years I've been interested in uh, the way the brain works and um, the, the examples that I'm going to share with you will I hope uh, as I say, provide you with some insight uh, but a little bit of entertainment too. It's participative, so I hope you're ready to uh, take part in, in this little demonstration. So if you stick around, um, at the end of this video, I also have another gift for you, but uh, more of that later. So what I want to share with you is a couple of things on um, perspectives and um, what that might mean. So a little bit about how the brain works, but, uh, but why that's important. So in this first uh, little exercise, <clears throat> What I'd like you to do is just while I'm talking, uh, if you just stare at the black dot right in the center of uh, the, the, the picture there, you'll notice there's a little gray haze around that, but stare at the dot and as you stare at the dot, just have a ha notice, just notice what happens to the haze around about it. What you've probably already started to discover is that the haze is either starting to disappear or at least in places it's starting to disappear. So what's actually happening there, and I am not a, an optometrist or a, a neuroscientist, but my, my uh, layman's understanding of what's happening here is that the brain is gradually filtering out things that it's, it is seeing, but is not deeming to be all that important. <clears throat> so that's very helpful from a day-to-day -day practical perspective, because uh, when you look around, um, as you look around, as you're going about your day-to-day -day lives, uh, you'll see all sorts of things which your brain just does not need to register so it filters them out now but here's the rub if you are in a presentation a lecture a business meeting a client situation you could be in any number of different uh, scenarios you'd be sitting in the gps um, if you are not paying attention uh, if you are letting your brain do all of its auto stuff then it will automatically be filtering things out so uh, just something to be mindful of um, are you aware of when you, you or your brain is uh, kicking in and operating for you and filtering out things that maybe you need to pay attention to? So that's just the first little uh, insight. Okay, so here comes the second one. Uh, in this second one, you're, you might, you're going to have to either find yourself a nice quiet spot. So you could pause the video, find a quiet spot, because I just need you to say something out loud. Um, and of course, if you're sitting in an office or sitting amongst friends and family and you suddenly blurt something out, then you may look a little bit strange. Uh, but uh, if you don't mind that and you're quite happy to give that a shot, then um, here's the next uh, little insight. <clears throat> so quite simply, all I want you to do is read out what does it say on the sign? Okay, so I've given you a chance to uh, have a quick read of it and then say something out loud. Uh, now I would like you to read it again. Okay, now um, I suspect that there will be a high proportion of you will have read the same thing as you read the first time. And why wouldn't you? Because I haven't changed anything and it's exactly the same, same words on, this, on the screen as were there a moment ago. Um, but if we look really, really closely, uh, you'll notice that there's something not quite right about the words in the sign. And in fact, it actually says, I love Paris in the, the springtime. So the word the is duplicated. Now, some people will, may, you may have seen this before. Um, if you've not seen it before, maybe you're one of a tiny percentage of the population who will automatically just sort of pick up on that, that level of detail. But I can guarantee the vast majority of people will read that and will just read, I love Paris in the springtime because Partly they're programmed to, to recognize that phrase or that expression, um, so they just they know what it should say. Uh, but also another filtering activity has kicked in in the brain and it's filtering out stuff that it doesn't think is important. Um, and you can try this with um, if you've got a team, if you run a team, if you've got um, a party coming up and you want to just have, to have a little bit of fun, you can, you can try this out with some other people. Or just take it home and try it with a family at home and see if people actually spot um, spot the error in here and just see how many people don't. But of course, <clears throat> while that's quite a, while that's good fun, the serious point again here is that if there are details there that are important, but you or your brain has decided that they are not, then it's quite easy to overlook them. 
that's important if you are working with other people they're giving you information that's that they think is important or there are details there you might interpret them in a way which is different to the way that they are trying to show it to you or they are trying to convey so it's always worth um, really making sure that if somebody is giving you something that's important or you're reading something that you think is important then pay attention to the small print as they say so just to recap there <clears throat> why does it matter well Filtering out uh, things that are um, not important is actually a very helpful thing for the brain to do for us, but we just need to make sure that we are actually indeed filtering out the things that are unimportant. Um, there is always the risk that we might be misreading the detail. We may be missing key bits of information that are there that we're just not seeing. We may be paying attention to the wrong details. So, you know, in the I Love Paris in the springtime, maybe we were focusing on Paris or the springtime, or maybe it was the sign itself. Um, and then potentially we might be misinterpreting what um, others mean, what the message might be. So hopefully those are helpful little insights uh, and that you can either have some fun with them at, at your own leisure uh, or maybe just, just use them usefully in life. So I did promise at the very beginning of the session that um, if you stuck around to the end and you you're, you bore with me to the end, then I had another gift. Well, somewhere down below uh, in the description of this little video, uh, there are some additional links. We have um, a free guide with more uh, insights and help like this, like the two that I've shared here. Um, they are free to download. Um, so click on the link below and they are yours. Um, uh, I hope you find them helpful and useful too. So it uh, only remains for me to say that if you like this video, then it uh, always helps enormously if you can give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like it, if you've got any comments that you want to share, by all means, stick some comments into the comments field below. And there is a subscribe option to this channel that if you want to uh, find out uh, more insights, learn more insights and tips, then subscribe and hit the little bell icon. And that way you'll be notified whenever we post some additional uh, uh, insights lessons like this one. So thanks very much for watching. Um, I'm Martin Hamilton and um, look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye now.